Guys, we're gonna do a good old fashioned Salisbury steak coming up. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen, so glad you're here. If you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it so you get alerts on all what we're doing here. All right team, it is Soul Food Sunday. Guys, you know I'm all about the Soul Food Sunday. I love it. I look forward to this time of year, do a little collaboration between Smoking and Growing with AB and Soul Food Cooking here on YouTube. And just for a while, a few weeks, we put out some great soul food, comfort food, country food, whatever you want to call it, from all over the nation and the world. Hell, I did ragu, which is an old fashioned uh, Italian comfort food. You know, the other day, I'll put a link for that. No one watched it, but it, it was still worth it. You know? But today, I'm going to do a little classic for you, a little Salisbury steak, all right? I'm going to show you how to make the Salisbury steak. I'm going to put it on some mashed potatoes, uh, but this isn't a mashed potato video. Uh, you know, this isn't a steak and mashed potato video. This is just going to concentrate on the Salisbury steak. If you want to see how I make my mashed potatoes and I do it in the Ninja Foodie, uh, click on that link right there. But again, this is just how to make Salisbury steak. We're gonna do it on the stove. We're gonna use a cast iron. It's going to be delicious. Make sure you stick around for this one. Guys, instead of the grocery list this week, because it is a long, extensive list, I will put the list down below in the description. So hit show more. You'll be able to copy and paste the list. Uh, there's just a lot of moving parts on this one and it will take forever to read it off. No one has that kind of time, right? So let's get over to my kitchen island here. Let's start making these little uh, Salisbury steaks. It's, it's not a steak. This is ground beef formed into a patty. It's dang near little meatloafs that you uh, soak in gravy. So <laughs> it's gonna be amazing, trust me on that. But it's something I grew up on in the old TV, old school TV dinners, right? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have like the, the nasty molten lava apple crisp that goes along with it. But I do have potatoes and I do have some corn. I thought about making it into a TV dinner video, but yeah. ain't no one got time for that. So we're just gonna do the Salisbury steak, make it happen. All right, come to the kitchen island right now. Let's get making these little uh, Salisbury steak patties. Okay, team, we got our one pound of ground beef right here. I'm gonna add a little parsley in there. Save a little bit for the topping. Gonna add a couple pinches of salt. And again, all exact measurements will be down below. I have about half a cup of shallot going in, minced shallot. We go about half a tablespoon of garlic in there. I'm gonna use the other half for the gravy. Got one egg. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of a uh, little W sauce. And we're gonna put some of this in the gravy also. Have a little of this Japanese barbecue sauce. Nice little bit of sweetness. Uh, you could use whatever barbecue sauce you want or leave it out all together if you want. This is a real light barbecue sauce, not a heavy one. Add about a cup of panko bread crumbs then a mess of uh, cracked black pepper. All right, for this part, we're gonna glove up because this is messy and I don't wanna get it everywhere. So first thing we're gonna do is mix this up and then we're gonna form it into little patties over here. We're gonna make about four patties, so quarter pound patties. Break up that yolk and then just start mixing it all in. Basically, you're making little meatloafs here. We wanna make sure all this is very incorporated, mixed through. Okay, it's nice and mixed through, looking good. I'm just gonna kind of separate it into four little chunks here. This doesn't have to be exact. And with Salisbury steak, they're traditionally kind of oval shaped. So we're gonna shoot for the oval shape style. Okay. Again, it does not have to be perfect, guys. Good food doesn't mean it has to necessarily has to be perfect. Just gotta put your love in it. It'll show through. Then we're gonna sear these off in the cast iron. They're gonna be delicious. Can't wait. This is like bringing it back to the old school. Let's get these over the stove and get them seared off in that cast iron. All right, team, we got the fire on. We got a knob of butter in there, about two tablespoons worth of butter. We're gonna add a nice little uh, glug of uh, olive oil too, so another tablespoon or so. Okay, just gonna let that come together. So what we're gonna fry our little Salisbury steaks in and what we're gonna build the gravy off of too. Rider right, our butter's melted, mixed with that oil. Add the 
little steaks in. We're gonna build a nice crust on these things. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so basically we're gonna let it go about a minute or so, check it, maybe flip it. We wanna build the crust, we wanna build the, you know, the flavor starts building on there. Crust is part of the building process. The butter, the oil, all the stuff in there, it's gonna be amazing, all right guys? Once we get these cooked up, we're gonna pull them out and then we're gonna start building our gravy in there. It's gonna be mind blowing, awesome. And it's up or so. Go ahead and flip these over. Just know you're gonna splash. It is what it is. <laughs> but you got that nice caramelization on there, that nice sear. Another couple minutes, we'll get these out and start building that gravy. My team, a couple minutes is up. These are temping out about 130 and 140 on the internal temperature and the thickest part. I wanna make sure they're, they're fairly done, even though we're gonna finish cooking them in the, the gravy, okay? But these are looking really, really good. Got some great color on them. Dig it. Okay, we're gonna let those chill out and let's start building our roux in here. And we've pulled off the steaks, put them on a plate, put them over on this, the island over there. We're gonna go ahead and start working on sauteing the mushrooms and the onions, and then we'll build our roux, and then we'll get that gravy going. It's a really simple process, couple moving parts, but we're gonna be at the finish line in no time, all right? Start working on sauteing the onions and the mushrooms. Got about half of a sliced onion in there. About, about a cup or so of mushrooms going in. We're gonna get those wilted down pretty good, let them release their uh, water. Just start working them around. We're getting them nice and soft. Got all that good beefy flavor in there. Let these just chill out and do their thing. Release some water. Grab a little uh, pinch of salt in there. Kind of help the moisture release. So that's it. Come back when these are about done. The onions. And the mushrooms have been going for a couple few minutes here. Just kind of evaporating out some of that moisture, getting nice and soft. I'll go ahead and introduce about half of a, half of a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic in there. Get those working, get those flavors combining. I gotta tell you, it smells amazing in my kitchen right now. Wish you were here. Right, mushrooms. Onions, garlic, we're all sharing, getting to know each other in there. We're gonna start building our roux. Got about three tablespoons of fat in there, so we're gonna go ahead and try to equal that. We're gonna add a little bit in there. Start letting that flour sop up that grease. You do a little at a time. Remember, you can always add, but you can't take away, all right? See how fast it absorbs in there. Right. Another tablespoon or so. Okay, we're gonna let that raw flour kind of cook down a little bit, give it about a minute or two. We'll start introducing our liquid. Okay, we're going for our thick and luscious gravy, so we're gonna add a little beef bone broth in here. You can use beef stock if you want. I'm just gonna start whisking it together. See how fast it starts thickening up. I have two cups worth here. Shouldn't need much more than that. Rest of it in there. Some spilled over the side, so if you see some, if you hear some uh, crackling and bubbling in there, it's all right. We're really cooking over here, and there's really messes being made. We're gonna add a little W sauce, about a tablespoon or so. Add a little bit more cracked black pepper. And another pinch or so of salt, a little kosher salt. This gravy's coming together, looking luscious, thick, rich, gorgeous, just like your boy. Well, not the rich part, huh? <laughs> okay, we're gonna let that come together a little bit and then we'll add our steaks back in and then finish the steaks off in it. Get our steaks back in there. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers. Remember, I'm a professional amateur. Do not try this at home. And give these a little bit of time to get to know each other. Like I said, it's all about building flavors in here. And putting these steaks back in there is just the final, final layer of building. Okay, I have the heat really down low. And it's just gonna kinda 
finish up together in here. I'm gonna give it about five minutes. And we'll get it plated up and we'll uh, give this dish a try. What do you say? All right, team, time to plate up this dish. Got our potatoes on there already. I think I'm gonna go two steaks. Make sure we get a couple mushrooms on there with some of the gravy. All right, time to add a little greenery. And that right there is the dish, boys and girls. Guys, we're done. This is amazing. Sure, it takes a little bit of time and effort, but you know anything that comes from your soul comes from your heart that you put out there for your loved ones, your family, your friends, it's worth the time and effort, right? Give me a thumbs up if you think so. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's cut into this. You guys can see it's cooked through, looking good. Give me a little of that potato on there. I mean, you gotta have potato in and your Salisbury steak together. Got some gravy on there. <laughs> I, mean, I think you know what I'm saying when I don't say anything at all. This right here, it's gonna knock your socks off. The flavors are amazing. Gosh, guys, we've done it again. You and me, we came through this journey together on the other side with a beautiful dinner. Listen, I hope you guys make this for your family and friends out there. Share the love from your kitchen to the world. But that's it for this one, guys. I wish there was more to say, but I gotta get going. I gotta finish up this food. Too damn good. Hit that hashtag Soul Food Sunday. Check out the other videos on here. But till the next one, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.